Hey, little Jimmy, how's your day been? Well, I learned that you should never get in a rap battle with a 10th century Byzantine infantryman. My name is Little Jimmy and I'm here to say... Oh no. I've been roasted. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you're new and want to see more history videos, please consider subscribing. Now, on to the video. Greek fire, known to the scientific community as hot, sticky, flamey. Ingredients, unknown. Probably boiling coke and mentos, and who knows. Used by the Byzantine Empire from 672 AD until their collapse in 1453. Greek fire was an extremely flammable liquid substance that was invented in 672 AD, just in time to burn the conveniently nearby Arab fleet. Interestingly, the substance was able to continue burning on the surface of, or even underneath the sea, and could not be extinguished with water. This made Greek fire especially feared in naval battles, and the Byzantines made a habit of torching anyone who got too close to their capital. Since it was so powerful, the Byzantines were super stingy with it, and only a handful of people ever knew how to make it at a time. Because of the secrecy, when Constantinople fell to the Ottomans in 1453, the secret of its recipe was lost forever. Modern scholars theorize that possible ingredients likely included naphtha, wood resin, and maybe pitch. But the secret ingredient? Love. Here's how it worked. It all started with some bellows. This heated up a furnace that had a pot of Greek fire on it. The pot was then hooked to a pump that allowed the pressure in the pot to be increased. The pot was also hooked up to several pipes in the front. A torch was then added to the end of the pipes. As you pushed down on the pump, heated Greek fire was forced out of the pot due to air pressure. This was then expelled out of the pipes and through the flaming torch, therefore igniting the concoction and any human, hot dog, hyena, or harambe that happened to be in front of you. But the Byzantines didn't stop there, they wanted the party to happen on land too, so they invented grenade and flamethrower variants of Greek fire. I'm not kidding, here's a picture to prove my credibility as a historian. No one really knows exactly how the handheld fire projector worked, but after careful examination of this single picture, I believe that I have been able to create an exact replica. You told me this would work! I'm so silly. Beep! Under the Lens is a new series I'm trying out on this channel. The series will examine technology, people, or places within a short time frame of 2-4 to four minutes. This will not be replacing my main 6-8 to eight minute long content. It'll simply supplement it and allow me to put out a few more extra videos this summer since I'm traveling quite a bit. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.